Creators are pumping out videos faster than ever. But you've got a problem. Your videos are taking too long to publish and you're getting left behind. So let's fix that. Now, you've got two great options, Riverside or Podcastle. But which of these platforms makes the most sense for your videos? Riverside and Podcastle both allow you to record, edit, and publish videos and podcasts in full HD straight from your browser. And they both do a pretty good job at it, sharing an equal score of 4.8 on review site G2. But let's get started with the user interface. From even just the signup page, you can tell that Riverside is a platform built with skilled users in mind. Beyond podcasts and video production, which we'll look at in a minute, the platform has a bunch of different features, from webinars all the way to live streaming. And for the most part, it does a really good job at it, keeping it simple with its stylish yet professional dark theme. Though it is a little intimidating at first. And before we get ahead of ourselves, I know what you're thinking. How can this video be a balanced review if it's published by Podcastle? Well, if you're expecting a puff piece, well then think again, because we actually have a lot of respect for Riverside and we want to keep things fair. But at the end of the day, you be the judge. Podcastle's interface makes things a lot more inviting to new users with a brighter interface that makes everything super easy to find. But what really matters the most here is whether the platforms are easy to use. First, let's look at Riverside. When I was using Riverside, it did take quite a bit longer to upload my raw footage for editing. But hey, it is still a heck of a lot easier than dealing with Premiere Pro. But once you're editing on your timeline, then you can grab, slide, and move around different clips on the screen with no problem or lag. I'll actually play you a clip here in a bit when I talk about how the audio and video quality are. But to quote G2, Riverside is a really awesome interface and product. And I will say, Riverside does make editing a professional looking video easy, but the slightly more busy interface and black background did make it take a little bit longer for me initially when it came to finding my bearings. Now that we live in a world where AI is a thing and it's supposed to make life easier, well, we gotta talk about it. And Riverside definitely has a few bankers here, like the Magic Clips AI tool where it automatically selects moments from a long form video or podcast, and then it transforms them into short form snippets, which is perfect for social media. But the AI show notes feature here, in my opinion, is the real standout for podcasters. It automatically divides your videos into segments and then it labels them, allowing you to add it to Spotify, Apple Music, or YouTube episode descriptions. Your mileage might vary here with its accuracy, but still, it is a great feature to have when it's working. The Magic Audio and AI voice tools are also nice features, but both of these platforms have them, so it's not really a deciding factor here. But on the other side of the river, see what I did there? How easy is it to use Podcastle? You see, Podcastle understands that just like how you wouldn't use your Ferrari to teach your nephew how to drive, you probably shouldn't use a super cluttered video editing software if you're just getting started. The review site G2 said that it was arguably the easiest tool to use with zero prior knowledge, and I couldn't help but agree. In just two clicks, I have my video recording on my timeline ready to tweak and cut. And Podcastle also has a feature to cut up vertical clips from your videos. Then there's the AI features like AI Video Enhancer that automatically upscales your footage and removes any grain and visual artifacts. And beginning its life as a podcast platform, the AI audio tools are just as great. The Magic Dust feature was one of their first, and if you're interested, we actually have a full video going over it. But for me, hands down, it has got to be their automatic eye contact feature that really stands out. It's especially useful if you're reading off of a teleprompter, as it corrects your gaze to ensure that you're always looking at camera in a more natural way. And as someone who is always on the go, I can tell you right now, setting up an ever-changing teleprompter to match my eye line is a little easier said than done. So I know my editors and I greatly appreciate this one. You can even add a cinematic blur effect to imitate a professional digital camera. So overall, when it comes to its ease of use and its features, it really depends on what you're looking for. Both of these platforms can edit videos efficiently, but if you're looking for a more professional look with some great AI packaging tools, then I'd say give Riverside a try. But if you want a beginner-friendly platform, which has a bunch of AI tools, then you can't go wrong with Podcastle. And by the way, you can actually see how both of these tools stack up against one another amongst other major podcasting platforms in this video right there. Now, how do these platforms make your videos look and sound straight out of the box? Well, Riverside has always prided themselves on the studio quality audio recordings and high definition video, and they have every right to. But as I mentioned, it does seem to take a little bit longer to upload that video or audio to the editor, which can be annoying. But once you're in, you can expect crystal clear visuals and audio. Podcastle is no slouch either, recently upgrading their video quality to 4K, but that is saved specifically for Podcastle Pro users, but more on pricing later. Both platforms allow you to record remotely with multiple guests, and Podcastle even has a video tutorial on just that subject on the channel. Both platforms genuinely look great, but maybe you think that it comes down to their AI enhancements. Which one do you think is better? Creators are pumping out videos faster than ever. But you've got a problem. Your videos are taking too long to publish and you're getting left behind. So let's fix that. Creators are pumping out videos faster than ever. 
but you've got a problem. Your videos are taking too long to publish and you're getting left behind. So let's fix that. And before we get into how easy or hard it is to publish with Riverside or Podcastle, now let's take a look at pricing. Both offer three distinctive plans at different price points, but the specific prices could change depending on when you're watching this in the future. Podcastle's forever free plan allows you to record, edit, and publish videos or podcasts with all of its basic editing features, but it does limit you to only one AI tool, which is the filler word remover. And it comes with the maximum quality of 480p for now, which may not be ideal. Riverside's free plan has a maximum quality of 720p for video, which is a nice improvement, but the free tool that they offer is the Magic Clips, which in my opinion, isn't quite as useful as the filler word remover. Trust me, when you hear enough of your own ums and ahs and but uh, you would probably tend to agree. Then there's the Essentials slash Standard Plan. On Podcastle, it's $14.99 a month and it gives you all of the previous features as well as unlocking the majority of its AI tools for audio, like the Magic Dust tool, Background Noise Remover, and Magic Dust for Video. Riverside Standard Plan is currently $19 a month and it allows you to publish videos in 4K, which is huge as Podcastle's Essentials Plan doesn't. But you also don't get access to any more AI features, which are locked behind their Pro Plan. Podcastle's Pro Plan is just a few more dollars at $29.99 a month and it unlocks all the remaining AI tools from the video enhancer to the revoice tool and its eye contact corrector. And of course, you can download as much as you want in 4K. The Riverside Pro plan is also $29 and it unlocks the rest of their AI tools. And for just $15 extra a month, then you can get access to their 1080p live streaming, which is just limited to 720p with a watermark in the corner on their standard and their free plans. Podcastle also has an extra plan, known as its business plan, for just under $70 a month when billed annually. It offers unlimited cloud storage, but you might not need that unless you're sharing your account with a huge team. But in my opinion, most creators looking to get serious about making their content should be using the pro plan. And I can't help but think that Podcastle is the better deal. Maybe there's no surprise there, but for me, it has more AI tools. And as someone who is also a solo content creator, those tools make more sense for me than Riverside's just from a cost perspective. And if you're interested, they've been kind enough to allow 50% off your first month of Podcastle Pro with a link down in the description. So when it comes to its ease of use and publishing and extra features, both Podcastle and Riverside have their strengths. But with Podcastle, publishing your podcast is seamless. You can directly upload your episodes to platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts without needing a separate hosting or publishing tool, which is a huge time saver for creators who want to get serious and streamline their workflow. And for content creators, Podcastle also makes it just as easy to upload to YouTube with its direct integration that lets you publish with just one single click. So no more exporting, no fuss, everything stays all within the platform. Now, if you are interested in Podcastle, then make sure you hit subscribe because on the next video, I'm gonna be doing a full tutorial on editing videos in Podcastle. And now while Riverside doesn't make publishing quite as easy, it's still a simple process. And they definitely shine when it comes to their live streaming feature, which is something that at this time, Podcastle doesn't have any form of. It offers built-in features that lets you broadcast your live stream in real time to platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. So if live interactions with your audience is a priority, then maybe this feature for Riverside is a compelling choice. But once again, it boils down to your priorities. Do you want a complete end-to-end -end process on one platform, or is the ability to live stream your content the deciding factor for you? If you're looking for an affordable option with easy to use AI tools, then Podcastle, I believe, is the way to go. It's the complete all-in-one solution that handles everything from recording to publishing, all at a very accessible price point. But if you are looking for a more intermediate platform with complex solutions, then maybe Riverside would be your best bet because it offers higher resolution video at a slightly lower price, along with built-in live streaming capabilities for real-time engagement with your audience. Ultimately though, I'm picking Podcastle for my money due to its ease of use. Not just for beginners getting started, also for someone who has to go back in that platform for multiple uploads in need of less friction. And don't forget, if Podcastle sounds like the right fit for you, make sure you use that promo code linked down in the description for 50% off your first month of Podcastle Pro. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.